Hey guys, welcome back for another Ginyu Special Force training. Uh, this time we're going over the Intelligence Captain Ginyu. Uh, this one should be released on Saturday. The Burger one will be released on Sunday, just so that way you guys have additional content. Uh, I did forget to do them on their respective days. It's not that I forgot, it's just I didn't really have the time um, or the motivation to do it. It was a very hot week, it was a lot of stuff to do during the week. So um, I figured let's just have it uh, set up to go over the weekend. Um, I should also, if I don't have it uh, on Saturday or Sunday, uh, towards the week, I will definitely have a team building guide for the Android category because they, it is available on DokkanBattleBuilder.com. So if you're interested in that, or if you like the content that I bring to you, may, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and help support the channel. I'd really appreciate the help and the support. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So here we go, this is the Ginyu Force Special Training uh, for Captain Ginyu. Again, like all the other events, it's pretty... Uh, pretty basic, pretty uh, self-explanatory. If you understand it to the other events, you're going to understand it to this event. This one is a stage can be, well, obviously you go through, if you find a thousand, you get a guaranteed Captain Ginyu drop. If you don't get a thousand, you have a chance to drop Captain Ginyu if you fight him, if you decide to take the Nimbus. Now, here's the thing with this event. This one specifically with Captain Ginyu, uh, I know we do not have Dokkan Battlefield as of right now. But, because Dokkan Battlefield does feature the LR Captain Ginyu, you may want to consider let, not bobbing all of the Captain Ginyu SSRs that you grab. You might want to keep him on standby because you can Z-Awaken him and feed it into the Captain Ginyu. Just say the global side does get the, uh, the actual Dokkan Battlefield, where you can actually increase his super attack with these guys. I would recommend doing it. Um, unfortunately, you can't TUR more than one of them, uh, but you can go and at least get him to Super Attack 10, which would make it a lot easier. I had a whole bunch of SR Captain Ginyus uh, from the some first from some banners. I know when I went and did my LR Gohan hunt back in like um, September, October, I just kept every single one of them. Because this event came out before Dokkan Battlefield, I just went, I sold all the ones that were maxed out from the max banner, and I went and bobbed all the ones that were level one. So I don't have any of them Captain Ginyu's left just because of this specific event. But with that being said, let's keep on continuing. Um, as normal with these events, left path is small, middle path is going to be medium orbs, and right path is going to be large orbs when you first start out. Uh, if you take the Nimbus Cloud to fight Captain Ginyu, uh, the pods are in the order are going to be the first, the first set are going to be small, second set are medium, last set are large. So you're going to just go ahead and do that. Captain Ginyu has the most orbs, I believe, out of all of the other guys. So you're going to definitely need... It took me actually all 30 rounds to get all the orbs needed. He needs 6290 or 6300 small, 3430 medium, and 336 large orbs. Uh, so yeah, again, definitely go ahead and make sure you grind that out. I did all that in one day. That was a lot easier. It took me, I think, I would say like 300 stamina. I think it took me to do everything. Just because it took me almost two full bars. Uh, but anyway... Let's see here, again, when you 100% him, get a Grand Elder Kai. Uh, when you complete the event up to 30 times, you get all these cool rewards and all the medals required to Dokken Waken him. Again, you need to get him to 100% in order to get the LR Captain Ginyu. That video will probably go out on Monday, by the way. <clears throat> I will just do a little bit of an overview of him and the team and like what rotations and stuff you, you might want to consider doing. Um, but overall, that's the Captain Ginyu event. Uh, in terms of the Captain Ginyu, here we go. Acknowledged Elite Captain Ginyu. Uh, let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Leader ability, intelligence type key plus one, HP and attack 25%. Super attack, Milky Cannon raises attack and causes extreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Captain's Choice <clears throat> key plus two, attack and defense plus 60% when facing one enemy. Damage received minus 40% when facing two or more enemies. So, that actually is pretty damn good um, for a free to play card. Uh, the fact that he uh, has a damage reduction when facing two or more enemies doesn't is not going to come up too often, but keep this in mind. If you're having issues with Super Battle Road, you, this might come into handy for you. The damage received minus 40% can actually help you take, uh, at least reduce the amount of damage that you're taking. Uh, he's not going to do a lot of damage output in general, but he will at least be able to tank a little bit if you're lacking good units. Link skills are the Ginyu Force, Gentlemen, Respect. Loyalty and Signature Pose, he's part of the Net Planet Dynamics Saga and the Ginyu Force categories. Max unlock potential is HP of 10,059, attack of 10,492, and defense of 7,279 with 12 key multiplier of 135%. Uh, the raises attack is a 30% boost, uh, and again, you need to be 100% in order to get the LR Captain Ginyu, so make sure you do that. It will Doken Awaken with the 5 medals from running it 30 times. Now when he Doken Awakens, Courageous Clash Captain Ginyu. 
Uh, let's see. Leader ability is now intelligence type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30% as normal. Super attack is milky cannon, raises attack and causes supreme damage to the enemy. I wish that switched over to greatly raises attack, but whatever. Um, passive skill is model fighter. Uh, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 70% when facing one enemy. Damage received minus 50% when facing two or more enemies. So, alright, couple things here. First things first, raising attack is awesome. You may want to consider doing a hybrid additional attack and crit. Uh, the levels are pretty damn low when you do the split. It's usually like 7 and 7 or something to that effect, or 7 and 6 or 7 and 8. Uh, I forgot what the exact numbers were. But this will probably uh, benefit you because if you get a double super attack, you're raising your attack two times. Uh, your, your attack and defense plus 70% is going to be highly crucial and beneficial to you. Uh, so you will definitely want to get the crit in there with that. Um, the, the passive skill, the, the actual uh, additionals don't actually help you out with anything, but just that raises attack too. If you don't really care too much about that, go full crit. I would definitely recommend going full crit if that's if that's what your goal is. Um, he is very self-sufficient as well when he's only facing one enemy. Key plus three. I mean, just on the team alone, not considering his link skills, he's going to have nine key healing needs, three more in order to get a super attack off. And I mean, look at this. I mean, oh, well, actually not. We don't want that one. Um, let's see, Gentleman is key plus two, and Loyalty is key plus one, Signature Pose, which I'm pretty sure all the Ginyu Force have is key plus two, and all of the Ginyu Force, Doken Waken have Shattering the Limit. This guy's always gonna get a super attack off, like, all the time on a Ginyu Force team, regardless of whatever you do. So he is super self-reliant, and if you bring in on a Mono Extreme Intelligence team, that will definitely help him out, especially if he's lacking link skills to link with other people. But again, so I would definitely say either crit or split it, crit and additional, depending on how you want to run him. Again, this is more for fun. Um, another thing about it is because his card is freely farmable, you could always go and change it. You just need to reverse him, which I don't know if you want to use a reversal on him, but you can reverse him to an SSR, and then you can just grind out a couple more of his cards, and you can just undo what you did. So it'll be a lot easier. Uh, link skills, again, he does get, get, uh, gain shattering the limit. Everything else stays the same. Same categories. Max based uh, dupe system is, or ma yeah, max dupe system is going to be HP of 11,203, attack of 11,137, and defense of 7851 with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Raises attack 30% boost. Super attack uh, 10 increase gives him an additional 20% damage on his super attacks, which is awesome. And uh, that's pretty much it. He's a pretty awesome unit. Um, there's really nothing else to say about him uh, other than, uh, you know, you're going to really need to get him to 100% in order to get that LR Ginyu. Uh, I, I haven't done a linking guide on him. I will definitely do one. Um, I will probably... I, I, need, I do need to figure out which videos are going to go out what time because you have the android 17 you have the android 21 cards that are currently out i want to make sure i get those videos out to you as soon as i possibly can because the free to play ones everyone kind of understands how they run and i mean on a ginyu force team it's pretty self-explanatory they're very exclusive there's only six cards and you're going to be running all six of them on your team so uh, i'll probably not do the captain ginyu or the linking guide until like monday assuming i do the cat the the actual android linking guides on saturday and sunday but anyway, guys, again, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe and help support the channel if you guys are new. I'll catch you down in the comments below. You all have a good day. Peace.